Hi folks, on this week's show, we're back in Chile, in the Valle del Maule, and we're sampling an unusual white variety. Take a step forward, Sauvignon Gris, coming right up. Hi guys, a very warm welcome to yet another edition of Big On Wine, the show which, as you should know by now, brings you news, clues and reviews about just everything in the world of wine. And indeed, this week we're back in Chile to sample another of those white varieties, and it's this one here. It goes under the name of Aresti Reserva. Sauvignon Gris and the vintage is 2018 and where I am this wine comes in for a price of under 12 euro a bottle. Okay let's um, give you the backstory to this wine. Now this of course is a white wine, it's a single variety white wine and the variety in question here is the Sauvignon Gris. Now the Sauvignon Gris is quite an unusual variety. It's not planted in too many places um, in France to some extent and also in Chile, maybe a few others, but Chile is experimenting with this particular uh, variety. So the Sauvignon Gris is in fact a clone of the Sauvignon Blanc and it produces uh, grapes which are a kind of, not grey as the name would suggest, but are in fact a kind of a dull pink in colour. Now this wine is from Chile, from the Valle del Maule, and the Maule Valley is what, um, about two and a half hours south of Santiago by road in the Central Valley, and the Maule Valley is indeed one of the largest, one of the oldest, and one of the coolest wine producing areas of Chile and both red and white varieties flourish there. Okay, as I say the Sauvignon Gris is a clone of the Sauvignon Blanc which we normally associate with New Zealand and with of course Sancerre in France. It tends to have a little bit less aroma but more body um, and is often in fact slipped into the Sauvignon Blanc wines uncredited. Okay, let's see what we get when we take a look at it in the glass. And of course, in the glass, it has that archetypal straw gold, pale straw gold colour. Now, this, of course, is a very young wine, it's 2018 vintage, so it's about a year old um, at the moment. All right, so a pale straw gold in the glass. Now, in the nose, um, true to form, the Aromas which we normally associate with the Sauvignon Blanc, that very, very strong aroma of blackcurrant leaf, of um, grass, um, on of gooseberry, is to some extent still there in the background, but it's rather restrained here. We're getting more of an aroma of mature fruit here. I'm going for somewhere in the region of peach or apricot. It's almost a touch of sweetness in there as well. Um, maybe, maybe even a little bit of ripe apple in the mix there. So not the normal aromas we would associate with the Sauvignon Blanc. The Sauvignon Gris is much more in the direction of mature, uh, more exotic fruit, and maybe even a bit of sweet apple as well. All right, let's try it in the mouth now and see what we find. Okay, now this is a dry wine. It's um, young. Um, the immediate impression is of acidity in the mouth. It's quite a light, refreshing number, but it does have the back of the tongue a lot to give there. Now, in the mouth, the peach and apricot are not as pronounced as in the nose. Getting something much more citrusy, um, a touch of lime maybe, gooseberry, mm, not too sure about that. Maybe something in the direction of white currant. 
so citrus or white currant. The acid content, however, is reminiscent of gooseberry. So this is quite a sharp drink, or quite a refreshing, it's very clean in the mouth. So young, acidic, dry, mature fruits in the nose, more citrus oriented in the mouth, with probably white currant being the dominant factor here. Mmm, okay. Now, here's a question. What kind of food would be best to accompany this kind of young acidic wine? Well, I'm thinking here of fish and seafood. Something I think that packs uh, a nice punch as food. How about garlic prawns? That would be nice. So seafood with a garlic treatment. And hey, I have the perfect option for you here. How about, and this is especially for the veggies out there amongst you, goat's cheese with caramelised onions. Give it a try. A drop of the Sauvignon Gris, goat's cheese and caramelised onions. Now there's a combination. All right, let's bring you the heads up on this wine here. This is Aresti Reserva Sauvignon Gris, one of the growing number of impressive white wines from Chile. It's young, it's acidic, um, it's a fresh wine with a peachy apricotty nose and a hefty citrusy grapefruity bite. Comes in at an attractive price of under 12 euro a bottle where I am. I'm going to give this wine three stars out of five. Okay, friends, many, many thanks for uh, taking the time to check out this week's video and the introduction to a very young member of the Chilean white wine family, a Sauvignon Gris from the Maule Valley. Interesting stuff indeed. More of that to come, I think. Okay, if you've enjoyed what you've seen and heard, then please do feel free to give us the big thumbs up, which we appreciate so much. Drop a comment down below. We're always extremely grateful to read your comments. Follow me on my other social media platforms, share the video around to your heart's content. And hey, if you haven't done so already, please do subscribe by hitting that big red button somewhere up there behind me. And naturally, I'll be back again next week with another great Wine of the Week for you. But until we meet again, this is Tony Melville signing off and saying, hey, take care out there. Be good to each other. Enjoy your wines. And cheers.